what should be done to Iran for abusing the captured Brits. Joining us now from Portland, Oregon, Colonel Ann Wright, who taught the Geneva Conventions to troops at Fort Bragg. Colonel Wright spent 29 years in the Army before retiring. And according to the UN, this is a, a violation of the Geneva Conventions, uh, holding these people, and it's an unprovoked act of aggression. Do you agree? Well, I think we have to be very careful, and I think that it's the the uh, jury is still out on exactly where uh, where the ships were and all, uh, whether it was Iraqi waters, uh, Iranian waters. All right, but waters. that'll never the, be the main, proven, Matt. I mean, you know that. Well, It'll never well, be proven. Well, the main thing is not to let this be ratcheted up, that the, the Iranians and the British government need to be very, very careful on how they handle this so that it won't, won't escalate further, because certainly the danger flashpoints in that section of the world are tremendous right okay, now. Okay, but you didn't answer my question, so I'll pose it again. The U.N. says that this was a violation of the Geneva Conventions, which you taught. And they say this was an unprovoked act of aggression by Iran. Do you concur, madam? Well, I, I concur that all people that are, that are detained by any power must be treated appropriately. And if you look at the Geneva Conventions, which is prisoners of war, and right now there's no state of war between um, uh, Iran and Great Britain, but taking the high ground, the moral high ground, the Iranians should be tra treating the British with the utmost of care, they should not subject them to public curiosity. But they are. And by, by, they are. by doing showing all photos, yeah, by showing photos, just as the Americans have done in other cases, which was wrong. I mean, we lose the moral high ground when we do conduct. Uh, right. So this is our fault. Is, this Iranian uh, seizure is our fault. <laughs> No, not at all. Not at okay, all. Because, but look, I'll tell you, I, mean, I just want to stop. I want to stop the interview right here, Colonel. I, and I, I just want you to be aware of how you're coming across. I've asked you very specific well, questions, which you generalize answer. You then threw it back into the American's court for no reason. America isn't in play here. You just threw it back and took a slap at your own country, madam. All right. So oh, people well, watching, I, I don't, people watching I are picking this people up. People that are watching here are, who who need to be very well aware that we have some very very difficult situations going on in the Middle East where the United States has almost an armada across the whole okay. Persian Gulf. That's what but I thought you were going to say. This is our fault. Because, yeah, we're there. What, what's going on there. And any escalation, mm -hmm. uh, when there are acts of, well, who knows what the provocations are. The whole world needs to be very, very careful. And we appeal to the Iranians to treat the people that they have detained. Yeah, but they're obviously not, they're not, to they're not doing law. what you, they're not doing what you want. They're laughing well, they at your appeal. To, but I want to, I want to get you, no, I want to get you on the record. The United States need to be treating people in Iraq, okay. Again. Afghanistan, and Guantanamo right. according to So it's our fault. This whole thing, law, yeah, this so. thing, whole thing is our fault, right? It's our no, fault. Where the, no, no, no. Where are the we, evil ones? No, Colonel, I'm agreeing with you. High ground on this, I'm agreeing with you, Now we don't seem to have. I'm agreeing with you. We're the evil people in the world. Because no, that's what you're not. putting out there. And you put it we out are, consistently, man. We are having we're some very the bad difficult guys. times in our own determination of what is right and what is wrong. And I think the Bush administration has picked a very different route from what the Geneva okay. Conventions have so been. And we I wanted, wanted to talk to about country, the Iranian as I hostage appeal to situation. The Iranians, that we actually abide by what the true Geneva Conventions right. are. That you treat people appropriately, that you don't subject them to public curiosity, that you don't intimidate, you don't humiliate okay, but that, them. That's exhal that well, that's what they're doing everybody. in Iran right now. But I just want to get, I want to recap. We wanted to talk to you about the Iranian illegal seizure of these military people and the abuse of well, them. Yes. You turn yeah. the, you, you, Colonel, turn the conversation around to slap at your own country, to oh, diminish the well, Bush administration, no. and to bring I in all these other Bush things. And you haven't criticized the Iran the Bush administration once. has been violating international yeah. law and Geneva Conventions. Tragically, the right. U.S. Congress went along with some of it through this Military Commissions Act, which is you, came now on, that you have alternative alternative I'm glad you interrogation came on. techniques. I love, I love the fact that you're here. Because I do want to right. make sure the Iranians Colonel, treat people go. properly, and I want to make yeah. sure the United States sure treats people properly. Sure too. you do. I surely do. That's what I spent 29 Sorry. years of my no, life no, you trying didn't. to do. You know what happened to you? Conventions Somewhere are along very, the line. very important. All right. Somewhere well, along the Bill, line, I served 29 you years. How many started did you serve? to Where dislike you your own country. Cut her mic off. Goodbye. All right. That I'm glad she came on. I wanted you to see her. Not about Iran. Not about their seizure or treatment of the Brits. We're there. That's the, and she's not alone. That's what you have. Next on the rundown, Tony.